From Amateur Radio Newsline Report number 2034, these are the Ham Nation headlines for Wednesday, October 26, 2016. Amateur Radio has stepped in to assist communications in the Junkins wildfire in southern Colorado. The fire is in mostly rural country. I think there's about 200 places evacuated. That's Area Section Emergency Coordinator Robert Wareham, N0 ESQ, who is currently supporting the Junkins fire at the Colorado State EOC. We had an interesting request from the Fremont County Sheriff because it's hunting season, and they actually asked us to put out evacuation bulletins so that hunters with amateur radio in the back country would be aware that there was a fire danger. Wareham explains how they assist at the state. EOC. They activate Colorado Aries, and then our personnel come into the state EOC, and, and we become their communications function here. We also monitor the state 800 megahertz trunk network, all of the mutual aid channels, everything like that. So it's a sort of a broader role than traditional amateur radio. And he points out they have access to a statewide interconnected ham repeater network, as well as a new DMR network. The Rocky Mountain Ham Radio Club has, over the last five Five years or so developed a very robust DMR digital radio network. So right here from the state EOC, I can communicate directly into the southern part of the state over the digital network. Ham standing by to lend assistance where needed in the latest Colorado wildfire. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Kent Peterson, KC0 DGY. Now here's one after school activity that doesn't involve homework. This sounds more like ham work. November 6th, Hotel Charlie Station. You're coming to 5 to 9 from Bloomington, Indiana with the Bloomington High School South Club. My name is Maria. Okay, very good, Maria. Uh, my name is Arnie, America, Radio, November, Italy, Echo. Arnie? This is just one of many contacts that were made during school club roundup. Schools across the globe have been making contacts with other schools, clubs, and just whoever they find on the air. From elementary schools to big-name universities, schools are taking to the airwaves to learn more about ham radio. Club President Maria Lissandru, KD9BUS. I love being able to talk to people all around the world and meeting people, and I love being able to just have a bunch of pile-ups, especially because I'm a girl. I get a lot of people trying to talk to me. For Amateur Radio Newsline, this is club sponsor Neil Rapp, WB9VPG, reporting from the K9SOU Shack in Bloomington, Indiana. As the popular U.S. National Parks on the Air event draws to a close in December, things are just getting fired up down under. They don't call it portable operations for nothing. As hams in Australia prepare for the 6th annual Keith Roger Memorial National Parks Award Activity Weekend, this being held in Victoria's National Parks, amateurs have chosen their times and locations for operating, and many of them plan to be on the move at more than one spot. From Lower Goulburn to Warby Ovens to Port Campbell and points in between. This is all, of course, nothing new in Victoria or in the United States, which will soon be wrapping up its centennial celebration of its own national parks after a year of similar portable operations. In Victoria's case, though, hams have Keith Roger, VK3YQ, to thank for being the award's inspiration. Keith became a silent key in 1981 after an amateur career that kept him forever on the move with his radio equipment. Keith was a respected World War II veteran who served with the Royal Australian Air Force and became an active amateur in his later years. Now it's just a matter of waiting until Friday the 11th of November for the activity to begin. It doesn't conclude until Monday the 14th of November. Across those four days, hams will be on the move in the spirit of Keith Roger. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Graham Kemp, VK4BB. For the rest of this week's Amateur Radio News, please listen to the full Amateur Radio Newsline report online on a repeater near you or on shortwave radio station WTWW at 9930 and 5085 kilohertz. And that's all from the Amateur Radio Newsline, your independent source for amateur radio news for four decades and counting at www.arnewsline.org. With Kent Peterson, KC0DGY, Neil Rapp, WB9VPG, Graham Kemp, VK4BB, Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the News Desk in New York, and our news team across the globe. I'm Don Wilbanks, AE5DW73. We'll see you next time here on Ham Nation.